guys and girls out there in Cyberland, welcome to another Han Tai video. Today we're in Cha Am, we're taking a look at a couple of favourite Isan foods, northeast Thai foods, the Gai Yang and Som Dam. They're traditionally eaten together. Uh, they used a special mortar and pestle here. It's a steep, steep sided mortar and pestle and it's not used so much to make a paste, it's actually used to, to bruise the food the bruise the food break down the food so it's easy to eat and more importantly to actually get all of the juices flowing. So she started off with bruising some chilli and some garlic together and then she added some snake beans and some tomatoes. She bruised those a little bit, beat those around a little bit, mixed all the flavours together and there she's just crushing some lime, lime so she can get some lime juice and she's just going to use that later. And you can actually see if you have a look that just to what she's just to the left of where she's crushing is a bike seat. This entire kitchen is actually on the back of a motorbike. So there she's added some fish sauce, she's adding some palm sugar here. Palm sugar is much like a, a molasses type thing, it's made from a palm tree and it's just a, it's an unrefined sugar so it's got that uh, really mellow depth to it. It's not quite so super sweet as a white sugar but you can definitely use that as well. She's adding some, some lime juice there, that's just to sour it up a little bit. Okay. She's mixing them all together. It's a real contrast of flavours. This one, they all mix together really nicely. It's hot, sweet, sour, and spicy. She's got all of those in there. Now she's adding the main ingredient for the somtam, the papaya, which is really gets its name, the green papaya salad. And that's a just shredded green papaya. She's going to pound that together a little bit. She's adding some sh uh, some shrimps now, and she'll also add some peanuts as well. Once she's got all of those in there, she's essentially got all of her ingredients in there. Mix them about a bit, make sure all the flavours are all together, and that's pretty much it. Of course, there's one more thing that's really important when you're cooking. Doesn't matter what you're cooking, doesn't matter how often you're cooking it. If she's cooked this a hundred times, she still tastes it. Make sure that all the flavours are there. Yep. She doesn't need to add anything. It's perfect. So let's have a bit of a taste. Yum, yum, yum. That is spectacular. That is super easy to make. You can see that. Mix it all together. Pound it up a bit and you're done. That's it. Sometime. Now it's on to the accompaniment for the Somtam, the Gai Yang. This is already cooked, this Gai Yang here. It's just basically a marinated chicken and she's just reheating it for us. Um, if you do want to know how to cook Gai Yang, pretty country rustic method. I did a video where we actually had to catch the chicken and do all of that sort of stuff and that's called Isan Barbecue. So check that one out if you want to know the full gruesome details of it. She heats this up for us and we'll just mix that together and eat it with the Somtam and some, just some sticky rice and that will be spectacular. And something else that we often have as a snack when we're eating down here by the sea is dried squid. And dried squid is just basically normal squid. It's been left out to dry for I don't know how long. And then it's flat and it's really chewy. It's a rubbery texture. So to get rid of that texture, what they actually do is they put it in they, on, over coals, over charcoal. They grill it for a couple of minutes on either side. And then they put it through this like an old laundry press and that breaks down all of the fibres and it wrinkles it all up so it actually breaks apart so you can actually eat it and I tell you what if you want to do this at home you can do it quite easily because all you need to do is go out and get yourself some of this nice dried squid and you can do that from a lot of Asian food markets these days it's pretty popular I know in Sydney where I come from it's super easy to get you grill it over hot charcoal or just even put it under your broiler your griller for a couple of minutes on either side so it starts to blacken up a little bit then you just put it through a pasta machine and just as you can see that as she does it she, she sort of reduces the thickness of it so it's, um, it breaks it down and it's all edible, nice to eat. If you do this for a dinner party the smell coming out of the kitchen is brilliant you hand this out to your guests with a couple of beers and I tell you what you are going to be the star you just eat it with some sweet chili sauce with some peanuts and some coriander all mixed together it is spectacular. But that's us signing off for today. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. There will be more coming soon. You have a great day. And remember, enjoy your Thai food. I'm
กับฉันคิดถึงฉันไหมเวลาที่เธอเหงาใจคิดถึงฉันไหมเวลาที่เธอไม่มีใครให้ทะเลาะไปไหนแล้วไม่มีอะไรให้กอแล้วเธอคิดถึงใครฟ้าร้องทุกครั้งมันส่งเสียงดังเธอโดดมานั่งตากฉันฉันก็ทุเรศ